Welcome back, Tightwads. We're back with another video for the Cub Cadet RZT 50 inch mower that I have. Uh, I've had several issues, you know, with my electrical system, but fortunately, um, that is not my no longer my issue. My issue is now with the blades. The mower cuts on just fine. Everything functions correctly. I was cutting the grass and I started getting a really loud noise from the blade on the chute side, so the right side of the mower. This deck has three blades on it and that blade was making a lot of noise. And then I cut a strip and looked back and noticed that the blade on this side right here wasn't even cutting at all. So the blade was no longer spinning. The other two were spinning fine. The PTO was still engaged. Everything sounded like it was going correctly. There was no screeching for the belt getting stuck on the pulley. So I don't think the pulley is seized, but we're going to take a look and see what we can find out is going on with it today. All right. The first thing I'm going to do is a little bit of troubleshooting. If you remember, I rigged up a little hook because my mower deck barely fits through my French doors to get to my basement. So I just rigged a little chain. I drilled a small hole in the chute and I hook it to the belt shroud, but I take that off when I'm cutting. So uh, that shouldn't have caused my issue. I'm gonna remove this blade guard first. It is a, it has three bolts on it. They are 13 millimeters. So we'll get that removed. You also have a bolt here that is a 10 millimeter. So we have a 13 for the main three bolts, and a 10 for this one. And this comes right off. So now you can see the pulley here is what is supposed to turn the blade. When I turn the pulley, the blade is turning, but the blade looks a little loose on it. Let me try to spin the blade and see what happens. Look at that, when I spin the blade, it turns the spindle, but not the pulley. So we have an issue somewhere in the between the spindle and this pulley right here that's making it not turn correctly. So we're gonna pull this nut off of here and see what we've got below. Since there's tension on this belt right now, you can't just slip it off the pulley. You have to actually release the tension. And on this particular model, there's a spring right here that attaches to this pulley, which is your tensioner pulley. Once you get this spring off, you'll be able to remove the belt. A simple way I found to remove springs, since they're very hard to grab, is to take a rope or some kind of uh, device with a loop on it, hook it around the spring and pull back to release it. Once you get it pulled back and released off of the joint, you leave this string on so that it's easier to pull back and replace at a later time. You can see I put a wrench through the string to give me more pulling power and the spring has been released. It was hooked around this right here. It's been released and my belt was loose enough to pull right off the pulley. So now we can get to work on this. Uh, this nut is actually a, a 5 16th but you have to find some way to stop the blade because it'll it'll just keep turning the blade i used a two by four um, from a pallet and stick it right here next to this groove and once the blade hits it the blade will stop so get that stuck in there good once the blade hits it see it now has tension on it you can pry on this nut on the top so you can get it released. Really helps if you have an impact wrench. All right, so once you've got the nut off, it has a little washer on top and you can already see that there are no, there's nothing in here holding this pulley. It sheared completely off of the shaft. Here's a little piece that came off of it. There's no teeth on here. Uh, you can see clearly that the 
There's no seal on the bearings. You can see in that crack right there. So it looks like we're going to have to replace this whole shaft, which is unfortunate because it's not nearly as cheap as just replacing a pulley. But at least we'll be starting fresh. Got to look on the bright side, right? So to remove the shaft, there are four bolts coming up from the bottom. Once you remove those, the blade and those four bolts, the shaft lifts right off. Uh, the new shafts, I think, come with the pulley attached, we're hoping anyway. So let's get this removed and then we'll look at the new one. In order to remove the blade and to work easily under the deck, I am going to jack up the front of my mower. I'll also put some jack stands under it for additional support just in case it falls and try to work on it without removing the deck. Removing the deck at this point is not that hard, so we'll remove it if needed. All right, so I removed the blade with the same size socket as the nut on top of the pulley. Uh, like I told you before, I used a 15 16 standard, and then now we have to remove the four bolts. One, two, three, four, holding this piece in, and this is what we're going to replace. And those bolts are the same as the 13 millimeter bolts that were on the uh, pulley guard on the top, the belt pulley guard. So we're going to get those removed and then the whole thing should just lift off. I removed all four bolts. Uh, one tip to keep in mind, since there are four and this piece moves once they're off, you need to break all the bolts before, break them meaning loosen them a little bit before you remove any of them so that it holds this in place while you're removing the rest. And then this piece just lifts off. Uh, we'll take a look at it. You can see here are the bearings. There should be a seal holding those in place. Uh, this is even broken. You can see a little bit of the seal left right here. So these are shot. Uh, the top should have a star on it similar to the bottom where the blade is that holds the pulley and makes the pulley turn. It's totally gone. So this one has been in bad shape for a while and it finally just gave all the way out probably. May have been even held in place kind of by all the junk that was built up on it. But now we need to get a replacement for one of these. You can order them from, straight from Cub Cadet, or if you have a local authorized repair shop, uh, Cub Cadet Repair Shop, they should have them in stock as well. All right, I was able to find the replacement. Uh, here's a part number. And here's what it looks like all together. The pulley actually comes with the shaft. And it did not come with these four bolts. I went ahead and got new bolts because I didn't want to put the old nasty ones back on here didn't want to get them in there and then fail so i have some extra bolts now we'll get started putting this one back in i'll remove all the bolts that we just kind of halfway screwed them in and this just sits back in the only thing you have to do is line up the holes i'm actually going to get my shop back and vacuum up all that nastiness before i get started All right, so I have all four bolts in and tight. I went ahead and put the blade back on. I actually changed it out. I had a new set of blades because I'm going to sharpen the other ones. And the pulley spins nicely. There's no wiggle to it. Make sure the belt is back around it good. Make sure the belt is in the tensioner pulleys correctly. It should be the wide end of the belt, always on these silver tensioner pulleys. The wide end of the belt goes against the metal where the smaller V part goes inside on the blacker pulleys. It's a good rule of thumb to remember. Always helps you if you ever forget the orientation of your belt as well. The last thing to do is to take my wrench and pull this spring back around this part right here. We have our tension pulley spring back in place. You can see it's fully locked in. Make sure that it's in there correctly. Otherwise, you're gonna have a mess. The belt's gonna fly off and shred. Uh, double check and make sure your belt is around all the pulleys. You can see the one on the far side is good. All these look good. I like to give the belt a little tug. Make sure it's got some give but not much. And you'll see the pulleys actually move. This one and the other tension pulley actually move. That lets you know it's installed correctly. After replacing that spring, the only thing you have left to do 
is to replace the, the guard for the belt and pulley on this side. You just set it back in place and replace your four bolts that we took off of it and you are ready to test the mower. As always, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, subscribe for more videos about lawnmower repair, other landscaping advice, and repairs around my house. Give me a thumbs up as well, it really helps me out. Click the video in the top left if you want to see how to test and replace the solenoid on this Cub Cadet lawnmower. Click the video in the top right if you're having issues with starting your mower, and I'll show you some ways to diagnose and fix your electrical issues. Hope you guys have a great day.